Slightly Unblended. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a little Valentine's Day glittery extra look. So if you'd like to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Today I want to do a Valentine's Day look and channel that inner Amy Winehouse apparently because I thought doing the heart like this with a little sticker was going to be less dramatic. But the more I look at it, the more I'm like, holy moly. I already started out by priming my lid. I'm just going to go ahead and take this ABH A14 brush and I'm going to use the ColourPop Ooh La La palette and go into Trove and apply it into my crease. And I forgot to mention that I use a little bit of tape to make sure that everything's even because when I try to do super duper dramatic wings, which I really didn't think was going to be so dramatic, I need a little guidance. I can do a wing just fine when I'm not being so Amy Winehouse about it, but yeah, it needed some help. <laughs> I'm just going to take this ColourPop E1 brush and just gently blend this shade out. I'm just cleaning off the ColourPop E1 brush and then I'm going to take the shade Daiquiri from the Strawberry Shake palette from ColourPop and blend that out. Next I'm just going to take this SL Miss Glam, which I should know that by now, I've said this probably a million times, but the SL Miss Glam L50 brush and I'm just going to blend that shade out just to soften it up. And I'm going to take the Luxie 237 brush and go into the shade Sambor from the Ooh La La palette to just blend that out a little bit and to really just bring the colors together. I feel like this shade really ties these three together. I just cleaned off the Luxie 237 brush so I'm just going to kind of just give it a little bit more of a blend with it being cleaned off to get all the harshness blended out. I'm just going to take the ColourPop E10 brush and some more Trove and just really focus on packing it into the crease and then I'm going to cut the crease with concealer and it'll give it that more of a defined crease look. I'm trying to not over talk this time because I know I do a whole, whole lot of talking and editing me is just like, oh my gosh, shut up, shut up. So y'all are probably just like, shut up, shut up. So try not to just over blab because I could definitely do that about makeup all day, every day. I'm just going to take the ColourPop E1 brush, yes I think I finally got it down, and I'm going to just soften it up a little bit by doing a little back and forth motion, just a little bit pretty quick, that way it all kind of pulls together. And to cut the crease I will be taking my Urban Decay Stay Naked Concealer and the Morphe M421 brush, yes this one here, and I am thankfully cleaning my brushes tonight. I got a new little Sigma reshaper drying thing that I'm so excited to use, so I'm ready to try that out, but I'll take this and I'll cut the crease. I'm just going to take a little bit of this makeup remover that I added to this bottle for when I went on vacation and then ended up mixing the two and was really mad about it because then it was like both remover instead of toner. But anyway, take a of it on a q-tip and I'm going to remove this concealer and I'm going to touch up the Trove shade and then add more concealer just so that it has a cleaner base. Okay, so now that I have the crease cut out, I'm just going to do a half cut crease. So I'm going to take the ColourPop E10 brush and go back into Trove and what I'm going to do is just pack that on 
right here on this outer corner and just kind of blend it to where it ends there. And just bring it in. Almost how you would do a wing eyeliner, except not. And I'm just gonna pack it on to try to get it to be built up pretty nicely. Next, I'm gonna take this Lexi Small Shader Brush and I'm gonna go into Radioactive from the Radioactive Palette by Melt Cosmetics. And I'm really just gonna focus on this into the lower lash line area and kind of blend it into that trove shade and work it over pretty well. Not all the way though. I don't want to come up too much. Actually, yeah, I'm going to take it over all the way. But I'm just blending it into that shade to get them nice and blended together. And then I'm going to clean this brush off and go into Big Sugar from the Ooh La La palette. And I'm not going to take this all the way up. I think I'm going to leave about a fourth of it empty. And just focus on blending these shades. Blending these shades. I can't talk today. I'm gonna go into Radioactive and touch it up just a little bit because I want it to be quite gradient. And for the last shimmer, <laughs> there's, it's a lot. I'm gonna go into Berry Fine from the Strawberry Shake Palette. I haven't used this one a whole lot. It just doesn't speak to me. I wanted the Ooh La La because I was like, oh yeah, all pink, but they're kind of, kind of the same. Some of the shimmers and like the ones with the reflex are a little different, but I don't know. I'm just gonna carefully blend this right on that remaining concealer. And just kind of blend the two. I might have to go back into Big Sugar. Looks like I am gonna go into Big Sugar just a tiny bit more to make sure that those shades are blended together pretty well. Okay, it looks a little, that's how I feel. <laughs> that is exactly how I feel, it's like, mm. But, what I'm gonna do is take this little boot, some kind of paintbrush, because I ordered it off Amazon, with like just some thin paintbrushes for trying to do more creative stuff but I suck at drawing so I'm gonna take a little bit of the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Gel in Saturday Stardust and get it onto this paintbrush and then just kind of draw a line through the crease with the glitter. I think in a little bit we're going to go grab a pizza and go hang out with my grandparents for a little bit. So I'm super excited. The glitter is a little bit messy. So what I'm gonna do is find a clean brush, a very thin one, and get that scraped off of there real quick. Okay, this will do that he's gone to do. Well, it's there. So I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that very fine shade and touch that up and kind of cover a little bit of that glitter. Might not be very Instagrammable makeup of me, but it'll be all right. Cause it's just gonna wash off anyway, so. And when I say it's just gonna wash off anyway, I mean within the next like hour or two, I'm taking it off. So, not that worried about it. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I haven't quite figured out if I want to do the heart on this eye over here or not. Cause that's just kinda, just kind of a whole, mm, 
iffy situation because this did not quite turn out the way I was planning on it. I used these little stickers and I was like, oh yeah, these would be for small. They're not that small. So, I'm just gonna take my NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner and do the wing and I'll be right back after I finish my face. I am just gonna take this Morphe pencil brush and this shade Trove. I'm gonna put it into the lash line. I went ahead and I lined my waterline with the ColourPop Creme Gel Color in Boots. And I'm trying to, I set it off on the side somewhere, but it's still a little pop one. But I'm just gonna take this one and apply it right here in the lash line. I'm just blending this shade out. I'm just gonna go on and use Sandbar with this ColourPop E1 brush and probably call that good for smoking this out and then I'll add that inner corner highlight on the other eye to show you which one it was because I jumped ahead and did that and like probably should have done that before I cut off but inner corner highlight I'm just taking this Melt Cosmetics blush light and it's from the Radioactive Collection as well it's the ultraviolet one I'm just gonna use the hot pink one right here and add that to the inner corner. I know that especially with these very bold wings, this look is looking a little crazy, but I also have some really bold lashes that I'm about to pop on and I think that they'll bring it together. I hope so here in like when I come back in a few minutes. Hopefully it'll look better. But these are Dew Color or Doe Color. Or that's Dreamin' Color. They are the 5D Dramatic Lashes. I don't quite exactly know if there's a name on them. But they look like this. Oh, 5D06 is a little sticker on the back, yeah. I wore them yesterday. They're enormous and I love them. So I'm going to smoke out this lower lash line, add the mascara and the lashes, and I'll be right back. So this is the finished look. I think the lashes pulled it together really nice. And yeah, let me know down below what you'd like to see next. This is one of maybe two Valentine's Day looks I'm gonna do. Uh, don't don't hold me on that one, because I don't quite know. <laughs> I don't, it, it, this might be the first one, and there might be one creative one. It just depends on how I'm feeling what comes up between now and then and everything so like i said just let me know down below what you'd like to see next please use the hashtag slightly unblended on instagram for your chance to be featured in an upcoming video thank you so much for watching and i hope that i'll see you in the next one bye